Hello and welcome to Good Clean Gaming. I'm your host, Shalindo. And I'm the wife. And today we're playing a game called... Psycho Starship Rampage. And that's an awesome name for an awesome game, apparently. Yeah, say that five times fast. <laughs> so, uh, Psycho Starship Rampage is a, a, a game where you play as the psychotic AI of a warship lost in space, which tries to come to Earth, build your spaceship from scratch, load it with weapons, and use your creation to destroy waves of innocent aliens throughout levels... Loot their carcasses, extend your ship, and jump to the next, and then it just doesn't continue. But I'm guessing next galaxy, or next level, or next something. Um, so this game's been developed and published by Ballistic Frogs, and will be released uh, as of uh, September 28th, 2015, which uh, will be uh, Monday, I believe. Yeah, tomorrow. So, tomorrow, yeah. Uh, as, uh, well, tomorrow as, as far as, you know, this game is concerned. Um, yeah, so... We're gonna jump in and see what this game's all about. We're gonna start with just a single player mode. And we'll see how that's all like. There may be a tutorial in here, because um, I've, I did reset the tutorial in case we wanted to show that, but uh, looks like no, looks like they're not gonna tutorialize us. Uh, so basically the way this game works is you have your ship, I just jumped into construction mode. You have a ship and you can add to it and put things on it, like I'll, I can throw possibly two other weapons on here. Let's see if I can. Nope, can't. I, I can't put anything else on here right now. Yeah, if we're going on a rampage, we're going to need some weapons. We do need some ramp weapons, that's for sure. Um, so back, and let's go back resume the game. We're just going to jump right into fighting. There we go. And you hold down space bar to shoot at stuff, so it's a basic side scroller. Uh, but you can run out of bullet, uh, you can, not bullet, you can run out of energy. So if I keep holding the space bar, eventually it starts doing that. Um, oh, by the way, uh, heads up, there are two words that may be, you know, the two po potential swear words that may pop up on the screen when blowing up um, uh, the enemy targets. So, uh, yeah, if that bothers you, uh, it may be something that you don't want to see, then I understand. <laughs> well, we won't be saying them. We won't be saying them. No, we, ne never, ever. But um, that's something you can count on with this channel. It's no profanity. But uh, there may be little written bits uh, here or there. So. Which apparently I never notice. You always tell me when there's something I'm like, oh, never well, even notice. I, I always keep an eye out because I know I know I have a lot of uh, viewers. I also have myself that doesn't, we, you know, that that aren't all liking profanity and all that. But I want to make sure that I look out for them, and so I always look really closely at all the little words that may pop up on the screen. Um, generally, the ones that really bother me are are the audible ones, the ones where they're actually commentating and saying them. Um, but yeah. Right, because it forces you to listen to them. Yeah, yeah. And whereas where I, where if it's written, I can just kind of glaze over it, and it doesn't bother me as much. Anyway, uh, back to the game. <laughs> um, so this is how the game works. You basically just fly around, um, shoot at stuff with a space bar, and uh, you get these little repair, yellow repair glowy things. And you'll notice my scrap at the bottom of the screen is is accumulating, going up. And the more scrap I get. The more I can upgrade my ship and add new weapons and get repairs and do all kinds of neat stuff to it, add add new pieces, and basically you just create your own custom ship is basically how this game ends up running. It's really awesome. So you see how basically how this game runs then, All right, sweetie? Yes. Yeah, so do you have do you have to shoot everything or you can you can avoid it? You can avoid things, but the more you shoot, the more scrap you get, which allows you to upgrade your ship even more. So you want to shoot as much as you can, ideally. So yeah, left scroll to the right. Is there going to be a time where you can like stop and use the scrap? Yeah, at the end of each level, you can actually go to the construction. It's kind of hard. It, it's hard for me to remember what I'm saying when I'm when I'm playing this game. But um, I'm glad you're bringing up topics like that. Uh, at the end of each level, you get to use all the scrap to build your upgrades and all that. So after we get done with the boss, you'll see I can actually upgrade my ship and change it and all that. Whoop whoop. So is this the boss at this, the end of this level? This is the level one boss, yes. And so far we're doing pretty good. We're not taking a whole lot of damage. If you look at the bottom left-hand corner, you can see uh, the hull of my ship is pretty much all green. We're nice and safe. Everything's fine. Green is good. Yeah, green, green is good. Green is good. Um, we like the green here at Good Clean Gaming. It could see, be, their ship is red. Red is bad. It could be good green gaming, I suppose. Um, red is bad. Red is always bad. We're almost programmed to believe that now. Green yeah. is good. 
Red is bad. That's that's that that is a kind of interesting thing is you always have like a, a blue team and a red team or you have like you have those primary color teams and everyone always assumes red team oh red team must be bad mm -hmm. that must be team evil you know and the blue is always team good you know mm -hmm. so that's the way it kind of works psychologically I guess ooh we just totally nailed an asteroid of some kind oh oh no 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 we're gonna take this guy down and then we're gonna explore the construction part of the part of the game. Got him. Alright, got a new tool of some kind and got all the scrap. 3,454 scrap stage complete. Alright. So now I hit spacebar, it'll show me my score. It looks like we, I mean, we can see the score, the damage inflicted, damage taken, scrap spent 12. I'm, I'm not sure how I spent any scrap at all. Scrap spent, uh, scrap total here. Loot 1 of 1, which was the weapon we got, and then enemies killed 499 out of 513. That's not bad. We can choose one. Uh, I guess I'm going to choose the one I picked up, which is the only one I picked up. So now I can actually go and I can, uh, we're in hyperspace, so I can go construction mode. And so here's where you can actually, this, this is the front, and here's the editor. Um, you can actually move these pieces around. So you can actually change the shape of your ship, move that over there if you want oh, to. Oh, that's cool. I like that. We can move that, and we'll move this here. Uh, you can move one of these to the front. You can uh, right click on it and do stuff to it, like you can rotate it, and I'll ro I can rotate it like this or something like that. Um, come on, grab that, rotate it, put it over here. I could right click on it and go and say I want to add like uh, some weapons to it, replace selection, uh, and then change that. And that's going to be X. You you can actually have different hotkeys for different um, different weapons, and so. This one has X and space. This one has. This one needs to be changed to X and space. There we go. Space. I'll just make all these space. Equipment, weapons, space. There we go. So now I basically made all of them space bar based, but you can also make them X or Y or put whatever key you want to on it. Uh, there's also repair bots apparently. I didn't know about that. Um, don't know how they work exactly. And you're spending your scrap on this? Yeah, so I've got 3,000 scrap left, so I've already spent some of the scrap that just I collected. even moving around the parts of your ship? No, no, moving around the parts of your ship is free. It's just adding adding new ship parts or adding new weapons or new um, anything is going to cost. So that's how you that's how you uh, spend your scrap is, is adding stuff to your ship. So how much customization can you do to your ship? Uh, you can pretty much add however much you want, um, however much you have scrap to spend. You can add different pieces and make weird looking ships. You can, it's pretty much free form. You, this is a grid and so you can add pretty much as much as you want as long as you can put the, put the parts down. Make me a Mumbari ship. Make you a Mumbari ship. Yes. Or, or a Vorlon ship. Uh, hey, those ships were very cool in Babylon 5. That, those ships were very cool in Babylon 5. And there, there's so many people listening right now going, what in the world is Babylon 5? <laughs> It was an it's awesome. It's an awesome show. It was an awesome show. <laughs> I, I still watch it every couple of years. The whole series. Uh, I, I love being married to you. Let me just say that. Um, <laughs> let, let's throw on something like I don't know something weird like that right there, and then I presumably we could throw weapons on there. Okay, right now it looks like a rotisserie chicken with its, you know, <laughs> arms out. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't think about that. <laughs> Thank you for that. That's an interesting mental image. Um, what, what, uh, what did I do? What did I do? Oh, um, plasma cannons have several functions. Yeah, I think the tutorial is trying to do stuff while I'm trying to do other things. So, oh, now it's trying to give you a tutorial. Yeah, and it looks like there's also the ability to rotate sections of your ship while you're flying, which is absolutely awesome. I love. I already love the... No, not that. Go away. Why did I do that? Sell that. Not the whole thing. Oops. I'm still learning the controls of this thing. So let's put that there. Right click. We can throw on another weapon. No. Not that weapon. Thank you. Make fire. Space bar. And like I said, rotate left and right. It looks like you can, like, like I said, rotate sections of your ship, which is, just sounds awesome. Um, so now that I've put all those things in there, you can also rotate your gun. So see this gun right here? Mm -hmm. I can make it point in different directions if I want to. And like focus fire by pointing all the guns to one point, or I can spread fire and you know spread things out like this, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. um, but I'll just keep this facing forward, and we'll go 
and go ahead and resume game. And look, my new ship. <laughs> I got my Flying new ship. Flying rotisserie chicken. Flying rotisserie chicken. And I can actually test it out and shoot it and everything. Oh, ran out of energy. I really need to get more energy on this thing. Anyway, uh, that's that's how this part of the game works. Now, how would you like to play a little co-op real quick? Okay. Okay. So let's go ahead and... I was going to uh, ask you if we can do multiplayer. Let's save and quit here, and let's uh, turn on our... Uh, oh, wrong button. Hold on. Buttons. Push start. And here you go. Um, you All should right, be able to play... what buttons do I use? Uh, I, I don't know, because I've never played using controller. So okay. enjoy finding that out. Okay, I'll be one ship and you'll be the other ship. Um, can you move? Uh, or are you shooting? Wait, who's do? Are you doing the buttons or am I? I have no clue. Okay. Hold down the X button. Okay, so I'm shooting. Can you move? No. Okay, you can't move, but you can shoot. Apparently, hmm. Apparently, it's single player. Interesting. All right, let's move forward. Well, I can shoot the stuff. Ready. All right, I will move, and you can shoot. <laughs> Hold down the button. I just don't want to waste energy. Uh, you can you can let go of the button when it starts doing one shots like that. Oh, so let it go, and it recharges. Oh, that's a quick recharge. Yeah, it's a very quick recharge. So you just let go of the button for a minute. Now go. Oh, oh. Nice. This is interesting. I was expecting two ship co-op. <laughs> really? Well, remember like in the the Mario game, the two player Mario. was the second player was just a helper. Oh yeah, yeah. The new Super Mario. Like game. the Galaxy, yeah. Yeah, with the Wii remotes. Second Good point. player just kind of helped with the bubble and whatnot. Good point. Well, the cool thing about this is you could actually with the way the game's made, you can actually set different buttons for different weapons, and that potentially could give you different buttons for different players. So you could have one one player using the space bar and the other player using the you know X button weapons, and that would actually give you the ability to basically have teamwork. That's pretty neat. Okay, I kind of like just shooting. Just all I have to worry about is shooting. I like that. Oh, awesome! We need more electricity on this thing. Go this thing you is... missed too. <laughs> yes, honey. <laughs> Whatever you say, sweetie. You know me. I hate missing it. Look, you let two go by. Chugale. <laughs> no, I do not want to die, but I want to collect all the thingies. Okay. Oh. Uh, 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 okay, come here. Okay, got him. It's like a two-headed, good, clean monster. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, Try and. <laughs> you let one go by. I'm counting all the ones you let go by. I know you are. Uh, 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 okay. Good job. Um, um, pretty, um, ah, 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 ow, 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 ow. <laughs> That's why I let them go by. Uh, well, I mean, don't, don't, you know, put yourself in danger. But, but, get all the scrap. You must get all the scrap. <laughs> Uh, yes, yes, my weapon overlord. Are you alive? Then prove it. Are you alive? Then prove it. That that seems extremely crazy. Well, we have crazy. to prove we're not robots. This is this is a much harder boss than than the last one. It looks like. I, I can't wait to. I, eventually, I hope we can flip like their ships do. Flip. You know, we can only shoot like in the. You know, they turn. Oh yeah, they can turn. They we can't turn. That's for sure. But we can, we, there's a button, supposedly we can rotate. So we may be able to rotate our weapons around to point backwards if we need to point backwards. Mm -hmm. We just can't do that yet. And I don't know how to change that just I'm yet. I'm shooting you in your, ah. Uh, I like shooting you in your face. See me shoot you. <laughs> uh. Don't you turn your back. I don't want to shoot your butt. <laughs> I'm to shoot your face. My wife wants to shoot, shoot shoot a boss's face. Oh, we won. I like them to see who shoots them in the face. Uh, sweetie. How'd we do? We did great. Classified. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I become a completely different person when I'm actually doing <laughs> when I'm actually playing instead of just sitting here talking. She, she goes from adorable to bloodlust. <laughs> Must kill. I totally do. I get so competitive. 
All right, so that was cool, and we could... Uh, I wonder if we could actually... Uh, I, Wait, what happened to the arms? Uh, that was in the ship that I had before we did co-op. So oh, let me, so let me add those a, back real quick. Okay. Let me add some things back. And then I want to see if we can make something that actually rotates. I don't know if we can or not, so I'm kind of interested. Can we put this on the side, like this, and let's put some weapons on there, like so, weapons, and... Oh, I just had an idea. Yes? Can you make the gun shoot backwards so when the boss gets behind us, we can be shooting backwards? You can, but uh, consider that does use up more energy. Okay. So we need to throw some more energy back here for sure. For sure, for sure. So... Size three. We need at least three size for that. Okay, so our blocks need to be bigger. That's what that means. Um, let's do this. Let's take this. Um, can't take that out, can I? Mm. Never mind. Let's not do that. Let's add another section. How big do we need to be? Six. Size. It says size three. Let's try size three. Yes, yeah, size three. And we can rotate it. Just then put it in the back there. We're gonna make those sections charge. Propels the ship. Increase energy capacity and energy generation. So that's what we need. Okay. So we got those back. So we're gonna have more energy generation in the back. Um, I kinda wanna move these in here. Move the energy inside. Move these to the back. Something like that, kind of defend them. And then we could actually point these. We'd put weapons back here if we wanted to. Oh, too much cost, we, we ran out of scrap. Okay, so what I want to know is can I rotate these? So if I bind rotation keys, rotate left, rotate right. So let's, let's do, what buttons should we use? W and, we're gonna use W and S. So W, Rotate left, rotate right. So let's let's select all but all of our weapons and rotate left, rotate right, and fire. Let's see what it does. Do you mean to have them not? Not at all. Thank there you, you for catching that. That would have driven me crazy. That would have driven me crazy too. Once I noticed. Um, so F one. So once we did co-op, did we have to do level one again? Um. Uh, yes, we did. Oh, you have the controls. Uh, yeah, so so check this out. Ah. Now you can rotate. Now you can rotate where you're shooting your, your blasters. That is awesome. I like. I actually have to give you hotkeys so you could do that. But, um, but yeah. So what do you think of uh, Psycho Starship Rampage? I want to play more. You want to play more? I want to shoot more stuff. Okay, let's go play more. You ready? But I don't have the controls. Um, you don't? You took away my... Push start. Pause. I paused. You paused. Now unpause. Now try to shoot again. I did take away your controls, didn't I? Pause. Hold on. Self destruct. Next. Game over. Ooh. Um. I know what I did. I took away the hot key. Oh, you have to keep the hot keys on there. I'm sorry. It's okay. I think we have to start over from there. So. Ooh. But I can shoot now. Yes, you can. I'm sorry. It's okay. No, no, it's okay. I, I, it was my fault. I did that wrong. Uh, so let's look at this right quick. Make sure we get this right. There's our hotkeys. That's the hotkeys we need. So you actually have that button. So I'm gonna push, uh, push up. Push the button you want to do use to change the direction of your guns. Is that the button? Yeah. Up. Oh. Push it. Okay, that didn't help. Uh, push maybe this. Joystick. No, that didn't do it. Trying to learn. Hmm. So how about L and R? There's L, there's R. That one? No? Wonder. Here, let me see. Let me see your thing real quick. Aha. So you gotta do it on yours to actually get your bindings on there, I think. So let's exit this. See if we can figure this out. No, can't set your binds. Hmm. Ah. So if you select, if you select these. So let's select. I haven't done this with with this yet. So let me try this. Still learning, guys. Still learning. 
Uh, select, so did that select, reset our select, whole game? Select. It did. But we can play a little bit with this. It'll be oh, fun. You didn't have to do all that. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So now I can. Ah, now I can bind the keys. And I can say, I want to bind left to up. I want to bind right to down. Let's see if it'll allow us to do that. So now you push. Resume game. Aha. Ta da. Neat, right? Yes. So let's, let me do one more thing here. Um, we're gonna add, we have 6,000 scrap. Can I add any, any sections? Can I add equipment that would give me, let me see if I can add something. Uh, nope, energy is still too expensive, so we can't actually add anything. Can we sell this piece? I'm gonna sell some unneeded pieces real quick. Just some random pieces to get us a little more scrap. Sell this one in the back. Sell this one right here. And then we want to add a section. Let's see. Three. It needs to be three big at least. This will cost 150. So we're going to add that in the back. We're going to toss in. It's going to be a little unbalanced. It's going to drive me nuts, but it's okay. We're going to throw in a little bit more energy regeneration so it and just keep shooting for a little longer. There we go. Now point it up and point it down. Let's try this out. Destroy, loot, upgrade. All right, now I don't have to be in the line of fire. You can actually point your guns towards them. I'll just be collecting, uh, collecting the scrap from now on. Oh, I like this. A lot better. You like being able to aim. What am I shooting at? The red things. The red things. What are they? Do I, we know? Um, the enemy. <laughs> they are made of pure evil. That's why they are red. Okay. Die, red things, die! You're so adorable when you get uh, crazy. Uh... Oh, this would be such a good game to play when you're just angry and you want to shoot something. Let me know ahead of time when that is. Give me fair warning, if you would, please. <laughs> Every time I get angry, honey, do you want to go shoot something? <laughs> uh, okay, I fear for my life. Or play a boxing game. Honey, do you want to go punch something? <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit quietly here <laughs> and avoid making you angry. Oh, you never make me angry. Aww. Oh, it's a Kodak moment. We, it, have, a, we have a Canon ca camera now, honey. So it's a Canon moment. Have, have, have there been uh, any Kodak moments since like the 90s? That's the last time I actually heard that. <laughs> By the way, remember the 90s? <laughs> Weren't they awesome? I have to say, it is really addictive. You know, for a side-scroller, this is pretty fun for co-op. I really like it. And given that, you know, you can set so many binds and so many different weapons to do different things and shoot in different directions, you could have um, one person, the pilot, like shooting in one direction and your co-op partner shooting in another direction. That's not something you'd be able to do. Um, you wouldn't be able to do that just on your own. You know, you need, you have to have a, two people piloting the same ship. So it is. That's that's a good concept. I like it. Now blow him up, sweetie. Oh, I'm blowing it up. I am totally going to blow this thing up. Explosions. Explosions of redness. Oh! Oh! Ow! Ow! Spin all you want. You're going to explode. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love it when you get competitive. It's adorable. Um, so overall... See? Explosions. <laughs> so what did, what did you think of Psycho Starship Rampage? I love it. 
Awesome game, right? It is a lot of fun. Yeah, this 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 is this is a very well made game. I'm very impressed. Um, I, I wasn't sure what it, when I first saw the trailers and everything. I was like, I don't know, I don't know. But having played it, I can say this is this is pretty cool. I, I felt like, like I was on a rampage. Oh, you get to choose one. I chose one. Now you get to choose one. Player two, choose one. Choose what? I, what I mean? What? X. X. You mean? And a? left left and right to choose which one to pick, and then X to choose one, or A or one of the buttons. Okay, I'll choose this one. Cool. So it, it like you, you take turns choosing weapons. That's how you divvy out the weapons. Ah, the only button I could push was A. Oh, okay. So cool. I, I'm very impressed. I like it. Uh, this game comes out tomorrow, uh, September. Well, it's tomorrow for us, but September 28, 2015. It's probably today for you guys, or or in the past possibly. <laughs> um, so uh, thank you so much for watching. I'm glad. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, feel free to click that subscribe button if you're interested in seeing more videos like this. Uh, I've been Jalindo. And I've been the wife. And we've been playing... What's it called again? Psycho Starship Rampage. Psycho Starship Rampage! <laughs> uh, and remember... Keep it clean!